Hello and welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Tomorrow is the kickoff of Wizard World Comic Con at the Convention Center. Of course, a celebration of all the best of pop culture, comics, TV shows, movies, whatever. You have to find something that you're interested in, in there, right? We are getting a jump start on the celebration. So we have actor James Marsters here and also artist Desiree Pittman. So Desiree will be there throughout the show. She's over here hard at work creating. Yes, yeah, so we mentioned I was gonna turn into a superhero tonight. She is drawing my superhero portrait that we will reveal at the end of the show and we'll find more about what Desiree will be doing at Wizard World Comic Con. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I have, I already feel cooler. But first, we will start with James Marsters who will be at Wizard World all weekend. So how can people find you at Wizard World? Uh, there's going to be a big sign that says Perfect. James Marsters <laughs> and there'll be a long you? line. When you like stand there and it's just like, you're probably your picture, right? Yeah. And you're just people waiting, lining up just to... Take a picture with you and get yeah. your autograph? Uh, it <laughs> felt weird a long time ago. <laughs> and now it, 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 it seems kind of normal, but also kind of, kind of nice. Uh, uh, I'm a fanboy myself. Okay. I, I started coming to conventions when I was 14 years old. Wow. I was standing in line for Spock. Yes. And so I get it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm with my people when I'm with, at a, a convention. And people are dressing up which is what I do for a living. Uh -huh. So I'm like, hey, proper respect, man, you know. Does anyone um, ever show up with your hair from Buffy? So if people weren't familiar, or if you're like, okay, I know he was on Buffy, who was he? Spike, of course, yeah. the yeah. vampire, the bad guy, most of the time. Most of the time. You had this crazy blonde hair. Which sucked. Really? Yeah, they had to, <laughs> they had to bleach it every eight days. Eight days. Yeah, so they had to pour bleach on top of the wounds from the last bleaching. Oh, no. It was horrible. Uh, but it looked great, and yeah. the girls love it. Right. So Does anyone ever show up it. in line at, at Comic-Cons and such with that hair? Quite often. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Uh, women, uh, men, <laughs> kids. Yeah. Maybe I'll show up on the show tomorrow with that. You never do, know. <laughs> do it. It's so fun. So, of course, now you are on Marvel's Runaways. Yeah. Do we know yeah. if you're coming back for the second season? We do. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. yes, okay, good, yeah. excellent. What condition I'm gonna be in, I don't <laughs> oh. know, because I've been in a box for the whole off season. Uh -huh. I don't know if I'm gonna come out as a zombie or like healthy, I uh -huh. don't I have no clue. You don't even there. know? No, no I'm gonna act so much me fun, nothing. yeah. Okay, so I read something on the internet today, we don't always believe this, but I wanna know, is it true that your original inspiration to start acting was Eeyore in Winnie <laughs> the Pooh? That was my first role. Wow. That was the fourth grade. <laughs> Yeah, and I think I got the pathos of Ethor down. Yeah. I think there was a bottom to the character. So is that why you now play a lot of villains? Because Eeyore, he's not the villain, but he's not, <laughs> he's not the happy character. Eeyore is definitely the villain. He's right. like yeah, he's plotting evil. against Pooh behind <laughs> his back. No, uh, I, uh, I was in... I started doing television up in Seattle, actually. Oh, uh, I lived up there, and I was... That's where I'm from. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, Seattle yeah, High Five. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I, I uh, did a, uh, for Northern Exposure, I did a role of a, of a guy that was really kind of like um, not confident at all. Uh, he, was a, he was a priest, a Methodist preacher whose dad was like a great preacher and he followed his dad, but he's not, he's very shy, so he's really horrible at his job. It was a very funny role, but that's what I had coming in uh, down to town. So I was doing nerds. Oh. And then Joss picked me up and I, they had three days before they were shooting uh, Spike and I could do the accent, uh -huh. so they threw me in there, uh, and then I got known for doing villains. So it's it's whatever you get known for, man. Yeah, and it yeah. works. You, it, clearly, you're good at it. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple of questions. Speaking of the mm -hmm. internet, from people on the internet, let's go to the second one, uh, which I think is how do you stay so buff? You know, playing off of Buffy, but clearly <laughs> they are admiring your muscles. I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, long list. Um, <laughs> That's Chris yeah. Ellis asking that one. Don't Thank eat you, sugar. Okay. Sugar is oh. the devil. Oh, you don't uh, want to watch later in our show then. Don't, <laughs> no, don't eat, uh, I don't eat between 10 o'clock at night and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I'm already uh, on And then you have some too. food. So a lot, lot of not chewing involved. Oh, uh, sounds and then, like a great time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the life no of carbs, a villain. No carbs, just protein and vegetables. And then, and then work out, you know, just, just mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to kill yourself, but you have to do it consistently. Yeah. Okay, and then the next question, final one, is as a vampire, would you rather die by being staked or exposed to sunlight? Oh God, staked in a, in a heartbeat. Really? Yeah, because when it's sunlight, <laughs> it's like a slow burn. Yeah. I've actually experienced both. <laughs> 
no. And when you get staked, it's quick and you're out. But when, it, when, but it, but when you're burned, then you have smoke flying all over the place and, it, and you're coughing. And they mm. actually cut, stop coughing, Jane. It's like worse than not eating sugar. So <laughs> before we round time, we have a few seconds left. We have four yeah. things on this table that you can use if you were to kill a vampire. We have okay. this television light. We have a stapler. Yeah, we have this pinwheel fan thing. These are all found on my desk, by mm -hmm. the way. Or mm -hmm. a KGW microphone. Mm. Do you want which me to answer that? Yeah, which one would you go for? I'd have to go with pinwheel. The pinwheel? Now, if it was a werewolf and the staples were silver, that mm -hmm. would work. But see, this is right there. You got the wood in there. Exactly. You just shove that into my carotid arter artery and just, just do away I with knew, it. Right I away. knew that's what you would go with, because I think in the light, but it's not sunlight, so it doesn't count, right? Nope. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much, James. I knew you would figure that out. If you didn't, I was going to be like, there's wood on one of them. Yeah, Do I get you got to keep it. This? You sure? All right. it, just put it behind your ear. Everyone at Comic Con will love it. So, Wizard World Comic Con at the convention center Friday through Sunday, wizardworld.com. By the way, kids 10 and under, if any of them were watching Buffy back in the day, they are free. So, thank you so much. Oh, no, my and pleasure. have fun. And I promise I will not kill you with that.